Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last tutorial, we finished up creating these sliding box enemies, but at the moment our world kind of sucks. All we can do in here is wait to die. So why don't we give our little iRobot guy something to do. We'll create some coins for him that he can go around and collect like Pac-Man. Alright, so in order to do that, we're going to need to create a new actor. So we're going to come in here to the content browser and right click and we're going to go up to blueprint class and we're going to look for actor right here and we will call this coin. We're going to come in here and open up coin and we're going to add a static mesh component. we will call this coin mesh and you guys can add whatever you want uh, to be your coin if you guys have some good assets you can put that in here right now um, I'm gonna search for one I just made the nebula coin we're gonna put this in here and I'm gonna rotate this let's see this way 90 degrees no see. Rotate this guy up. If you hit this little button here, you can rotate objects. Rotate him up 90 degrees, and we'll rotate him this way 90. And I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. So you can go right here into scale, and I put in 0.25 for everything. We'll compile and save. So now we have our little coin collectible here. All right, we're going to go into the event graph. We're going to get rid of some of this stuff here. And we're going to click on our coin mesh and scroll all the way to the bottom. And we're going to hit this second event here on component begin overlap. And just like we did for the box mesh, we're going to have this one um, overlap the player as well. So we're going to come out from Other Actor and cast to your player character. And once we know we're overlapping the player character, what we're going to want to do is get rid of our actor so we can destroy actor. And this will delete our coin from the level once we've collected it. Now, we're going to minimize here. And I'm going to go into our player character. And we're going to give him a new variable. We're going to come over here. And we're going to call this score. So we're going to keep track of how many coins he's collected. And we'll make this an integer. And we'll compile and save this. Now we can come back into our coin here. And once we've overlapped a coin, we can now pull this variable out called score. So we can get the score. And we want to add one to it. So we can say add integer plus integer. This has one. And now we want to set this just like we did with our health. So set score. And we'll hook this up like that. And we'll hook this into here. Now a little trick for you guys. Um, if you're actually adding one or subtracting one, there is a um, like shortcut for that. It's called increment. And what this does is this is the exact same thing as these two nodes here. So it will add one to the score, and it will set it all in one little node. And there's also one called decrement, and it does the same thing except it subtracts one. So if you're adding or subtracting one, you can use these little uh, shortcut nodes here, but it'll do the exact same thing as what we have here, guys. So we'll get rid of that. And once we're, before we destroy this actor, what we'll do is we'll print. 
right click and say print string and we'll print this number out so that we can see what's going on okay so we'll compile and save and we'll click on our coin mesh and just make sure that we have overlap events right here generate overlap events make sure this box is ticked and make sure it can overlap our player character <clears throat> so if we look at our player character and the capsule component which is the part that's furthest out on the player you see this yellow capsule so that's what's going to interact with our world first um, before you hit the mesh here as you can see the mesh now is outlined in yellow so we want to make sure the capsule can interact with our coin and the capsule if we look down here its collision preset is set to overlap world dynamic objects so we want to make sure our coin is a world dynamic object and if we come down here we see object type is world dynamic which means that our player character will be able to overlap it and that's what we want okay so we will save and we will minimize this and now we will add some of our coins into the world here yeah, it looks like a good size I'm just gonna hit control C control V and move a few of these around and we'll give our player something to do so now we can hit play and as you can see we have these coins now in our world and let's see what happens when we run into them there you go and you see it's printing in the uh, top left corner one two three and four so now we have some stuff for our player to do he's got these little coins he can collect um, for the next tutorial guys what I want you to do, um, try this on your own first, is see if you can get, instead of using a print string to find out how many coins we've collected, see if you can display that information to the HUD just like we did with the player health variable. All right, so that's your homework for the next time when we get back here with another tutorial. I uh, hope you guys thought this was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys later.